So it's starting to get cold in Chicago. You know what that means. We've got about two weeks of fall before it starts to turn into snow in winter, but that's my favorite time of the season. Welcome to my channel. My name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. And today I want to go over my fall essentials with you. So for me, you already know, I'm going to go shoes first and then work my way up to tops. And then we're going to kind of get into accessories and everything after this. I'll leave links below for everything that I have. It'll be in my carrot link, but let's get into shoes first. During the spring, I really want to focus on boots and derbies. For me personally, I love my Prada Brexit boots. They're a slip-on Chelsea boot with kind of a chunky bottom, and they give you kind of a commando look that isn't overly kind of over the top, but it's just comfortable. I slip it on. It's great for a person living in the city because I'm always going in and out of the house and I don't like to wear shoes in the house. And then obviously, because it's gonna start getting wetter and crappier out, it's a great alternative for me to keep on and off like that. And then I wanna go into a little bit more of a smarter look. For me personally, it's going to be my Camion boots from Our Legacy. I love these boots because I do wear them with a suit. I typically will wear some sort of blue suit with them, but then I also love them with a pair of jeans. They're a shoe that kind of takes me out of my element. I have the brown pair that has a black bottom, so I can wear it with black jeans or I can wear it with blue jeans or I can wear it with brown. And it's also something that you're not gonna necessarily wanna wear during the winter. It's a Blake stitched construction, so it, water will get into it if it starts to get really wet it's just a perfect shoe and then I have my trickers for those of you who've been following my channel I've had these trickers for four or five years I forget the name they're just a derby tricker uh, lace up with a calfskin I love the look of them to me they're kind of like an elevated Doc Martin they've got a bit of more round toe they've got a chunky heel a calfskin and that's again another kind of smart dress up dress down I've got two black pair of boots and one pair of brown boots and I think that's perfect for the fall personally. If you're looking for kind of alternatives to those, not necessarily less expensive or not necessarily more expensive, I recommend Blundstone. Blundstone is a great shoe that people who have had YouTube channels have done many reviews on, so I'm not gonna go too far into that. But you can wear them forever, and they're just gonna continue to last. Victoria's got a pair and she destroys them. It's definitely something that I recommend because she's so hard on them, and they just look so good as they're worn in and kind of beat up. If you're looking for something even more alternative and a little bit more different, this is a shoe that I've been looking at for a while, but I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. But that's gonna be the Tacova Dean Roper boot. I really love this boot because it gives you that kind of Western feel. Tacova is a brand that makes all of their stuff in Mexico, so the quality is pretty good as well. They're not overly expensive, and then they've got the side zip, but they're just so cool. They give you that Western look, but they're not like over the top Western with like, you know, tassels and all that jazz. I love the black pair of the boot. Tacova is a great brand, Bluntstone's awesome, and then obviously the pairs that I chose are amazing for me for boots my derbies. For me, it's my Church's Shannon T. Church's was recently purchased by Prada, so they've got a lot of Prada high fashion influence into these shoes, but they are still very much a British shoemaker, so that's something that I really love. I really enjoy that like really heavy, chunky sole of the shoe with a beautiful binder leather calfskin upper. I wear it dressed down with a pair of like just gray chinos or jeans, but then this is something when it's snowy and crappy out, I throw on with a gray suit and then I can look perfect with that and it gives you a very British kind of look to it. If you're looking for a different alternative, I mean Doc Martin is an amazing shoe. You're going to get a little bit more grungier vibe and then you're going to obviously get a very different price point. I also really love if you're looking for a smarter version of that, Beckett Simonon. I have a pair coming in the mail in the next couple weeks hopefully. They have a split toe derby. I believe it's called the Anders split toe derby and they are on the 220 mark but they're a bit of a smarter, preppier look. I got the pebble, the all black with the pebble lining, and I'm really excited for those to come in. Look for a review in the, in the future. If you want something a little bit of a higher fashion look, but you're not willing to spend the Shannon T money, and I will say that I got my Shannon T's on like super discount, but I really love the trickers for Evan Canori as well. That is definitely on my list. It was on my grails for 2023. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but it's 
definitely on there. Those are gonna be my shoes that I'm really gonna focus on in fall. Obviously, you have your sneakers and stuff like that, but these are gonna be my fashion shoes that I'm focusing on, and I think they're just awesome examples. So next we're gonna get into clothing. Obviously clothing is very different from summer to fall. I know all you fashion dudes are excited for fall because you can start layering and things like that. And for me, I'm gonna focus on my chinos and trousers. For me, my trousers, I really love the Velasca trousers that I have. They're a bit of a more like narrow tapered look, but they're perfect because I can wear them with a suit again. And then if we're gonna go out to dinner or something like that, I just think they're such a cool trouser and they, are comfortable as all heck. If you're looking for more of a casual look and you still wanna do some chinos, like these are my favorite chinos, bar none for casual. And they are the left field 13 ounce chinos. I believe they are about $165. They're a 13 ounce made in America chino. It's like a duck canvas. They are amazing. If you've seen my videos, I have a brown pair and I have a black pair and they fade like denim. They're more of a straight leg with a high waist. I would say kind of like a more of a 50s, 60s kind of vibe. And then obviously, if you have been watching my channel at all, you'll know that I'm a big fatigue guy. For me, my J. Crew fatigue pants, unfortunately they are not available anymore, but there are a million beautiful alternatives for everything that I'm gonna talk about. For me personally, if you're looking for a good kind of trouser, more of a smart trouser, I love the Uniqlo Easy Trouser. I own a pair myself and I wear them often for work but then you can dress them down and they have such an array of colors mine are black but you can do black brown gray and they're good for you short guys like me because they're already kind of cropped so they fit me perfectly if you're looking for more of an elevated kind of workers pan you want something in the more fashion realm uh, Maddie Matheson owns a company called Rosa Rosada I think I always screw up the name I apologize not that I know Maddie or anything like that but I apologize to him for slaughtering his name those are really cool too. They're 165 and they have a bit more funner colors. I'm not quite sure about the brand itself as far as like history and heritage or where the fabrics are made, but definitely styled well and aesthetically really, really cool. Lastly, this is a brand that I've actually just recently known. I've got a pair of a t-shirt from them and I actually quite like it. And it's gonna be Bronson MFG. So Bronson MFG is a like, uh, a Chinese company that is inspired by US clothing of like World War II and Western and things of that nature. And their stuff is extremely well priced. If you're looking for a pair of fatigue pants, they've got some amazing options for like under $100. Like you really can't go wrong with something like that. The shipping was about two weeks when I got my t-shirt, but overall amazing. And then obviously if you're looking for a US version, then Stan Ray is perfect as well. And then you're gonna get more traditional classic things like that. Personally, jeans are an all season kind of thing, but this is where I'm gonna focus on darker wash denim. I'm gonna get rid of my light wash, stick them in the closet for next season, and you're good to go. There's different styles that you can do for blue pairs. Obviously, I've got a few different, but my major focuses are gonna be my Levi's 1954. If you haven't checked out my videos before, I have a whole kind of thread that I'm doing for the 1954s of day one to whenever I stop wearing them kind of thread, and I want to go through the fading process of that. And then I have my black sugarcane lot 407s. You've definitely seen those before. They're a black denim with a red selvage line. They're starting to fade a little bit, which is what I like. I don't want a stark black pair of pants because then I start feeling like I'm wearing trousers. I can cuff them and get a little bit of a crop, but they're actually at the perfect length where there's a slight break in the in the jeans. So if I'm wearing my Our Legacy Camion boots, they look perfect for that. But then if I want to kind of wear them with a pair of like Oxfords or something along those lines, I can cuff them and give that look as well. I really love those pants and they're soft. They're already sanfrized. They've kind of worn in. I've already kind of broken through the, that part. And then my Levi's, the 501s, those are still a bit stiff. They're still straight leg, but they're a bit skinnier. I do have a pair of 1971 Levi's LVCs that are a little bit wider and I'll kind of go in between those two. The Levi's 1971s are a bit wider. So if I'm wearing kind of a pair of low top shoes or if I want to go with like a more elevated or kind of like over the top outfit it's perfect for that and then if I'm wearing my like Chelsea boots or something along those lines I'll do the 1954s and those are perfect as well jeans are obviously always going to be a staple in what I wear so there's really never gonna go but I always keep them as essential they're kind of a lifetime essential for me 
For me, knitwear is a lot of fun. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it baggy or you can wear it a bit more fitted. For me personally, I love my Uniqlo cashmere sweater or the crew neck. They do turtlenecks as well, which are gorgeous as well. Over the last few years, they've kind of gone up in price. When I originally bought mine, they were like in the 80 range, which was a lot of money for Uniqlo, especially in that price. But I will say over the last few years, I still have it, I still enjoy it, and I still wear it. However, there are things that you want to maybe potentially elevate and Uniqlo is really really great but also very traditional and very basic I have a beautiful Emma Jean and Willie knit fisherman sweater which Victoria got for me for my birthday last year actually so I've had it for almost a complete year it is a lamb's wool so it is crazy warm it's gonna be more like a late fall into winter kind of warm but I've walked around it's got like a really natural kind of brownish black look to it it's got like almost like a mock collar and it is absolutely beautiful. Emma Gina Willie is a cool brand. Most of their stuff is gonna be made in the United States. I think the quality for money is really, really great. They're not like a brand where it's like, oh, I've been doing it for 100 years. Most of the stuff that they're gonna be doing is inspired by this or inspired by that, but they've got a really kind of great, like grungy, western-y vibe. I love and I definitely think it's a great brand. Maybe not for everyone, but definitely something to check out. And then also J Press, the Shaggy Dog is definitely on my list for something that I want, but as of right now, I just don't have the money or the time to go and try them on and do the research, but definitely on my list as well. So when I say light layering pieces, I'm talking like button ups, westerners, things of that nature. The one I'm wearing right now, and this is like my new piece, I just recently did like a quick video on it in my vlog, is the Wythe NYC Westerner. So this is a moleskin shirt. It is warm. If you're shorter like me, it fits me perfectly. I love the look of it. I prefer the green. They do a green, a brown, like an aqua, and then a blue and they're gorgeous. The price on them isn't overly bad either. I think this was like $188, but it is more like a jacket than it is a shirt. So if you wanted to go up a size, then you could wear this with like a hoodie underneath it or something along those lines. But I love this and I think it's a great option. If you're looking for something that is a little less expensive or something along those lines, uh, go on eBay and type in like vintage CPO jacket. So that's what like the Navy and the, the, the officers would wear. You got the patches and they look really really cool also j crew is a great example for that but i love like a light layering piece for me like uh, a westerner jacket or even just like an oxford or something along those lines but i just love an amazing kind of long sleeve layering piece something that you can wear with a jacket over it or you can kind of shed off as the time goes so you can't have fall or winter without hoodies i am a big hoodie guy and I go with a traditional champion hoodie. I love the reverse weave hoodie because the weave is gonna be wide as opposed to long. It's great for me for a guy who's not necessarily the tallest person. So it kind of opens up the body and separates the body really, really well. And for like 65 bucks, you can't go wrong. Also, if you're looking for an alternative that isn't quite like just basic champion, Madewell's hoodies are starting to look really great. I think they're just kind of hitting home run after home run after home run. So I definitely recommend that kind of stuff. If you're looking for like a higher end version, I mean, you can't go wrong with like a Buzz Rickson or, you know, 316 or something along those lines, those heavyweights. I think Wonder Looper has an amazing version as well. I love hoodies. You can't go wrong with them. They're obviously an essential for many things, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I feel like I have more mid to lightweight jackets than any person in the world should. You know, everybody's gonna have a vice, that one's mine. There's so many different types of jackets that you can go with. I'll give you a quick little list of different great jackets that I'd recommend for, for spring and that I'll kind of keep in my rotation. My barber jacket, I absolutely love the jacket. It's great because it's got the reverse zip. It's waxed so if it starts to rain or does that, it looks great. I can wear it dressed down with a pair of jeans and it looks awesome. And then I can wear it with my suit and it looks proper that way as well. If you're looking for a good alternative, you're gonna find Uniqlo has got like an amazing option that I think is great to do, especially if you're not quite sure whether you wanna invest that kind of money into it. A worker's jacket, my favorite one that I have is I have a Lewis Hamilton collaboration. It's called the Eisenhower. The Eisenhower jacket is from Dickies. 
it is amazing. You really like value for money, it's hard to beat. And they've got elevated versions if you wanted to go down that. They do a waxed one and things of that nature. But a worker's jacket is great. A worker's jacket or a chore jacket, you really can't go wrong with. My denim jacket, I have my sugar cane type two and my Levi's vintage shucker jacket. They're denim jackets. You really can't go wrong with them. They're an amazing thing. The cool thing is, is you can buy a light wash and you can buy a dark wash. I tend to focus more on darker washes during the winter or during the fall and winter. And then obviously my bomber. I, I've got a Velasca bomber that I got uh, probably about six or seven months ago. I really like Velasca. I know I've talked about them again on my pants, but Velasca I feel like is such a great quality for money for that person who wants to buy something that they can wear to, to work every day and they're not gonna look like a crazy person, but then it looks classic enough where you can wear it casually and you can be experimental with it. I really love their stuff. The quality that I've, I've noticed has been amazing. I've got their shoes, I've got a pair of pants from them, and then I've got a jacket from them, and then I have that vest as well, which I'm really excited about. This one is a good alternative to that barber jacket as well because it does have a waxy coating or DWR coating, so if there is light rain, you can kind of wear that instead. And honestly, I've got nothing but good things to say about Velasca and this bomber jacket. Again, I'll leave a link below for it. It is just great. And then obviously like a fleece. You really like, I mean, a fleece is just a staple. It's a good, I mean, it's probably closer to like a light layering piece, so poo poo on me for not putting it in there. But like a fleece is so great. I have my Capital one, the, like the leopard print. They're warm, they're cozy. You can wear it like as a hoodie and then sometimes when you're just tired and you wanna zip that on and like cuddle, cuddle in at your house watching a movie, it's great as well. LL Bean is a great version if you're looking for more of a heritage, kind of a preppier look. Don't have a huge amount of accessories, but I do wanna share them with you. Those are gonna be a nice fragrance. So you have your summer fragrances that are amazing, and now you're gonna to wanna to go into something that's a little bit more woodsy. I recommend something that's going to have more of like a wood tone or a smoke or cigar kind of smell to it. I really like tobacco and leather, I think by Tom Ford, and then Victoria has one that she picked out for me that she likes. Ultimately, if you've got a partner, it's not about what you like, it's kind of about what she likes. So uh, I recommend you know going maybe on a date and you guys can choose your guys' fragrance for that. But I think it's such a cool kind of concept and I love a nice fragrance, like, uh, like a sterling silver or something like that. And then last, some cool socks. Like I'm not saying like don't be the sock guy with patterns on his socks. Like I'm don't do that. For me, it's like a, a nice earthy tone. I like. I believe. I think I wear anonymousism socks. I believe, and they're just like wool knitted socks. That there's some like I have like a dark green pair. I have a white pair, and then I've got like a like a pumpkin kind of color pair. And I love them to death. And they're just great because if you're wearing your Birkenstocks and you get your sweatpants on, just a nice pair of socks just to add and kind of elevate that style. And you really really can't go wrong with those. So those are my fall essentials for 2023. I know this is a bit of a long video, so I appreciate y'all coming to the end. My name's James, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you, goodbye.